First day of spring. How'd you feel? How'd you feel about the team, yourself? Oh, I felt good, honestly. Uh, just being back on the field with the football, you know, getting to actually play, do sports and like play the game. Um, it was good to see. Like we had a lot of energy today, which I thought it was a good sign for a first day of spring ball. Is it tough being like what you said, off season, just meetings, film, weightlifting, then to actually get back out on yeah. the field? I mean, it just it just makes the build up to when we actually get on the field even better. Because we know it's it's important to get like the lifts in, the running in, because that's the stuff that really uh, like takes care of our body for a season to like prevent injuries and stuff like that. So I just think of it as a part of the process. So a lot of the guys you came in with are now gone. <laughs> How's that feel to be like one of the senior leaders that have a lot of young guys around you? Uh, it feels good. I mean, doing this for like this is going to be my third spring. I guess I just finished my fourth year, so kind of understanding like how this how this game works. I guess not really knowing everything yet, but. Just being more familiar with it, I can focus on like higher developing things, I guess, instead of like, oh, what time is the meeting? Like, what what is this? What is that? You know, I can focus on different things that I've kind of uh, I need to work on. Are you helping the younger guys with what time the meetings are? Yes, of course. Yeah, <laughs> I got yeah, I gotta make sure everyone's on time. Can't have nobody late. So, what are some of those things you want to work on this spring? Um, just more of my mental game, I guess. Uh, just understanding defenses better, and you know, just kind of being like another coach in the O line room. You know. Just to, I'm on the same page with Coach Drev, so like everything can get set up and we can have the best plays we can. Uh, I saw Antonio Mafi was down here. Um, do you still keep in touch with him? Has he like passed on any advice or anything that's helping you out? I mean, it's just good to see him succeeding and like how he did in his uh, bowl game and thing like that, and like him preparing for the draft. It's just exciting to see, and it's kind of motivating me, you know, to like get where he's at right now and just just the thing like just, the only like advice he'd give me is just. The stuff about the process he's going through right now, just like talking through it and like helping each other out, I guess. Yeah. Do you encourage a lot of new kind of faces on, on offense, a lot of younger guys? You know, how have you seen just uh, sets or, or any sort of, you know, playbook related things kind of change in relation to last year? Can you do something about um, I feel like everything kind of remained the same. Um, guys just got to grow and be able to handle what we got going on over here because I feel our, our system is good. Like, We've been able to do a lot of good things, so just getting everybody on the same page and understanding the playbook is probably like the most important thing right now. How challenging will it be for you to replace both guys on both sides of you? I mean, nothing can replace John and Neil. Like those are some good guards to have, but I think the guards that we have now, like they're working up, like getting better. And I think by the time like we're really supposed to start this thing, should be gelling pretty well. What's your impression of Spencer so far? He's good. He's a great guy. Um, you know, he's from the Midwest. I'm from Hawaii, so it's kind of different but just getting to know each other it's been fun yeah. what have your impressions impressions been so far of uh, Dante and uh, some of the other uh, new quarterbacks um, it's been very impressive like they're I would say they're pretty mature for like their age like being able to handle and like focus on the football things you know I thought that was uh, impressive to me like being able to want to get better and like being all in already as a, such a young guy so I'm really impressed with him any specific kind of first impressions that Dante Cheerful, fun-loving, you know, guy for the most part. Yeah. Anything specific. Um, he's just very outgoing, like easy to talk to, and I, I feel like that's important for a quarterback to be able to get to know the guy. So I think he's doing a good job at that part. Yeah. A little strange about Dorian Thompson Robinson. Uh, it's, I don't know. I just I don't know who's behind me. I just snapped the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Any other new people make an early impression? Um. Day one, yeah, but. nothing really outstanding. I mean, everyone's just, I just love the energy that we had today. That's like the most, the one takeaway I have. You know, everyone's motivated to want to get better and be here. So that's, that's a good thing. You talked about the system. How easy do you think the transition will be plugging in new guys? You've had some guys, veterans who finally left. How do you think the offense will? Well, I think it's on us older guys, I guess, to um, kind of bring in the newer guys to like get them caught up to speed. Like this past off season, like, our meetings with each other just like on the side in our apartments or whatever just kind of understanding the playbook and making sure we're ready for day one which was today Good deal. Um, you said there's like meetings in your apartments and whatnot mm -hmm. is who organizes those typically usually like me or like josh carlin like the older guys in the in the unit just like to make sure we're all ready you know because we don't want to start off slow or have someone we want to make sure everyone's up to speed when we start yeah.